everybody, welcome back. We are on day 10 of the um, 100 day project. So today I thought we'd make some of these little circle tags for um, journals and I mean these would just be cute as just a little gift tag. You could put to and from on the back there. So there's other uses for this. Um, doesn't have to just be junk journals. So what I've done is um, went ahead and tried to prep some things so that we wouldn't have to, you know, I wouldn't have to do things with the big shop on here. And so I've done this in ahead of time just to try to make it a little bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to um, to do this as the project today because I do want to try to get more embellishments excuse me, done in bulk, if I can. So what I've done, I've just cut out my circles, and um, and then I've cut out some old book page as well, and I'm just going to glue, glue these down to the um, cardstock. Oh boy, that's already clogged up. Ugh. <laughs> Never, nothing ever goes to plan, does it? So yeah, I think I'll just get some of these um, drying. And then we can come back and uh, get everything assembled. I don't know how long I'll have time to... I mean, how many I can get done, but we'll give it a shot here. So I hope everybody's um, day is starting out good. I thought today the grocery stores get so busy on the weekend um, here. And um, honestly, guys, the grocery store in England is like getting Thanksgiving every day of the year. <laughs> it's unreal. So I thought this morning I dropped my husband off and kept the car and I thought I am tackling this first thing because that's the best time. If you go there first thing in the morning or um, just before they close, it's okay. But any time between like 9 and 7.30, forget it. Oh my God! If you if you're like me, I'm I'm not great in crowds, and you're just like, oh my God! I need a Prozac cocktail or something to deal with this. It is um, it's crazy. It's just unbelievable. And the shelves sometimes you'll go in there and all the bread's gone, which kind of freaks me out because I'm one of those people I I like to have my little stockpile. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God, the bread's gone. What does this mean? <laughs> But I'm starting to get used to it now. So this morning I thought, oh, I'm going to be on it. I'm going to get to that grocery store at um, first thing this morning. So I was in there, I think, at about um, 8.20. And, which, you know, isn't particularly early. But I had to take him to um, work and drop him. And it wasn't too bad today. I got in and out really, really quick. So that was awesome. That means I don't have to go. Hopefully I don't have to go this weekend. Uh, my husband, being English, he's accustomed to the daily shop. And man, I can't be dealing with that. I mean, it's nice. I get the, I get the whole point of it. You know, it's like, oh, fresh food today. And you know, if you, you know, sometimes you lay out things for a meal and then the day comes around and you think, oh, I really don't want that. So I get the whole European shopping thing, you know, let's do it day by day, but it's not in my nature. So, um, so I, I'm still trying to buy, as we do in America, for like a month. 
and I'm trying to pack it into this dinky little refrigerator and it's not working out too well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're having to tweak things slightly. I'm like, okay, we got to get another refrigerator in the garage or something because this isn't working. <laughs> so, yeah, we've picked up another, um, not just for my own food hoarding. <laughs> uh, my husband started making cheese. Um, so he needed it as well. So that's how I managed to, to get that to win that little battle. <laughs> so now I've got, you know, in the and it being a small the refrigerator is here about half the size we get. And then so now I I've got additional refrigerator space and freezer. So that's good. That's really good. Which, you know, he is using up some of it for the cheese, but that's okay. <laughs> but it is funny. It's stuff that um you know, you got to adapt to, and and I, like I said, I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I'm like, oh, I think I'll just go to the store today, you know, make that like a daily thing. No thanks. I, I value my time and my privacy too much. But um, it's funny. It's funny the differences in culture, but okay, so I've got three, six, eight. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, eight of the little bottoms, and then we'll get these put together. Um, so that's been my morning so far, and then I'm slowly trying to go through and give my house like a spring clean. Um, Day, Miss Daisy got a bath yesterday, and so she's not too pleased with me. She holds a grudge for a while, so uh, I, um, I'm hoping she'll forget about it with a few more treats. <clears throat> she'll forget that and that she's made angry with me. So yeah, little by little, I'm just trying to go through and do <clears throat> some spring cleaning before summer gets here because summer I really am hoping I think they had a really I wasn't here last summer but I think well I was here for a short time but I think they had a really nice summer so I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get out and do some um, barbecuing because I've missed being able to do that we've um when I was living in Florida, I was in a condo, and um, I had a screened room, but I didn't have a um, any place to grill. And uh, so I'm really excited to be able to get back to doing that this summer, if everything pans out. I love I love to grill. Okay, we'll just go ahead and get started because I know this is quite boring to watch somebody fiddling around. The rest of those I can do off camera. I don't know if I showed you guys up close. That's that's how it's come out. So I'll just get, I'm going to change glues and uh, try to, to get this one. I bought this at the stationery shop here and it's good glue. It's really good, good glue, but um, I'm starting to get a little bit low on that one. And boy, is this, I think this is stickier than the um, Fabri-Tac if you get it on your hands. Oh, I know what I was going to do before I do that. I want to snip out a little, a little thing there. So, yeah, I've, um, I'm starting to clear out. We're getting ready to do some car boots. We've got loads of stuff that are left over. We had a lighting business um, before we moved back to the U.S. 
And so we've still got a few things left over from that that we've got to get rid of. And, um, and then just, you know, how stuff just accumulates. And you think, and especially for me, because I, um, I love to go to car boots and flea markets. And so I buy stuff and I think, oh, I must have that. And then five or ten years later, you realize you've never even used it. So I'm trying to get out of that habit. I'm, I'm pretty good in all fairness. I don't waste a lot of stuff because, oh, see, oh, you guys, this is, what is, what, why must I have such trouble with glue? Okay, now i got to go back to this. And you know what that means. I should have that mask on. Um, yeah, I don't know. That must be nearly out. Um, so, good lord. Look at that. I thinned this down the other day with some acetone, and I got that too thin. So here, I'm right back the same, same problem I've been having. I got no glue. Ah, <laughs> this is not going as planned. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay, what am I going to use? See, every, everything's sticking to my fingers now. Uh, let's see, i got a little bit of this one. But I think this comes out in a really thick bead is the problem with this one. It's good glue, but um, I think it's going to come out so thick. I'll just have to be super, super I prepped everything except my glue. Sorry, guys. This is a real flop, isn't it? All right. I've got no choice. I'll have to go into a new bottle of uh, the 3-in-1. Because what it was, I took some acetone and thinned that down, which is great, except for when you need the really fine line like I'm doing here. Um, oh gosh, yes. Yeah, I'm really sorry about this. I thought I was, oh, really on top of things today and had it all prepped and ready to go. So hopefully but that was uh, not so good. Okay. That's better. At least I can get a few of these so you guys can see. I mean, you don't really need a tutorial. You can figure it out. But it's to do this. To satisfy this challenge, I'm kind of curious to see how the weekend's going to go because I don't normally film or do anything like that on the weekend. So... Um, it's not like I got much going on on the weekend, but I hope I can stick with this. What I think is nice about it is I almost feel like I'm justified to just have some fun craft time. So it's been really good from that point of view. Okay, guys, I'm just going to finish up these five because I know you must just be thinking get on with it I really don't care about your glue issues so I've cut some of these ahead of time I'll put the link below where I bought these because I know you guys are going to be asking every time I show these I get a oh and they are beautiful I've had these uh, what have I got five I've bought off of this girl, and I'm not going to try to pronounce her name because we've been down that road before. I can't, I can't pronounce her shop, um, but she's got some really pretty shabby chic stuff. So if you're into shabby chic, I'll put the link to her shop. I'm not going to go through and try to find that because she's got lots of items. And like I said, I've had these for so long, I, I ain't got time to go back and try to find you know, the specific link for it. It's 
not easy, you know, to come up with um, embellishment ideas for junk journals that nobody else has done. That is just, it's very difficult. I'm sure you guys know that as well. Um, oh, I was going to do a little bit around these. Let me go ahead and get these. Because, yeah, you, you're thinking, oh, I really want to do some, you know, another tutorial, but on what? <laughs> That's the thing. Because um, you, you don't want to do what's been done a hundred times. So, yeah, I've got to keep, keep searching because I do want to spend more time with tutorials. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, I was thinking about this last night. I woke up again in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep. And um, I, th I think what I'm going to do for myself is make myself one of my big journals, you know, the Nick the Booksmith type. And I think I'm going to fill it up with ideas for journals because... If you guys are like me, every time I go to make a journal, you know, it is not easy. You know, you've got your standard things that you always probably put in your journal, but um, it's not easy to have, you know, a place to go to of ideas. And who's, you know, you don't have time to scour through. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, I want to do this. Um... So, I'm thinking, and I think I would really enjoy this because I'm terrible at journaling, but I'm almost thinking I'm going to make myself one of my hardcover journals, and then I'm going to um, leave it blank, but during like a process like this, I'm going to hold something over for myself and like this, put it in there, and then that way I've kind of got a catalog I can go back to. Does that make sense? Um, because oftentimes, you know, some days it, it just all flows, but then there's other times where you think, gosh, what am I, I really want to do something different, and I thought that way I can just grab that and go to it, let me check the time here, guys. Oh, gosh, we're running out of time. Uh, four or five. Um, so, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to try to achieve over this next month. And if I do follow through with that, I will certainly um, show you. Because it will be blank when I start, obviously. And then as I'm doing tutorials and making stuff. Maybe I'll have an extra something that I can put in. And Okay, so there we go. We've got that in. Let me just get these in and then we'll go back. I'll add a bit of stuff to it. Um, so I'm working now <coughs> on a hummingbird journal and I'm excited about that because I love hummingbirds. It's a um, <clears throat> calico collage kit. I think it's called fluttering gem kit. Um, I don't know. It'll probably take me it'll be next week definitely before I get it on, and it could be slightly longer. Depends on how I, it all, you know, how quickly I get it. But I'm really excited about it because it's it's a really colorful spring-like um, kit, and I do love hummingbirds. I don't think there's anybody that doesn't love them. It um, brings me to a story. Of course, <laughs> we used to. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I was born and, and grew up in Michigan until I was about 12. And then my dad is from Georgia. And he transferred back down to Georgia 
but I still, I don't know, I, I feel like home is Michigan and Georgia. It's because, well, I, I don't know, I guess my best memories are in Michigan really, but um, I had a lot of the, you know, influence of being in the South, and I love the South. I love the people. But So, yeah, I, if somebody asks me where I'm from, I, you know, I go back and forth, oh, Michigan or Georgia, I don't know, because I love them both. Um, anyways, back to this story, gosh. Um, so, while I was growing up, I told you my dad took us across, um, camped, we camped all over the U.S., he had he worked for GM, so he had he had a pretty good job, um, and I had two I had two older brothers, um, so we we would go camping, um, and we used to go out to Colorado, and there was a place that we used to stay out out there, and it's it's just some of my best memories. It was a place up near Granby, well, actually Rand, Rand, Colorado, which is like population 700 or something. I mean, it, it is nothing but a general store, but oh my God, it's one of those general stores that you envision in your mind, like with the old um, black um, stove, you know, the old ones that you'd put wood in, and then they... They had all the stuffed um, animals, which I don't know if there's... It's been years since I've been out there now, so I don't know if that's still... With all this PC stuff, it's probably a no-no now to have that. But it was just like how you envisioned a general store. It was adorable. So we used to stay out at this place called the Old Homestead. And I wanted to take my kids out there a couple of years ago um, for a vacation, but we ended up going to Michigan. And I tried to call them, and nobody answered. So I was like, oh, man, I wonder if the place is closed out because it used to be all these really, I'm talking about rustic cabins. You had a stove in there you could cook on, and then there would be a wood-burning stove where you for heat because it gets cold in Colorado, even in the summer. One time we were out there on 4th of July in a tent, and it snowed on us. It was so cold. But um, this place at the lodge, because you had this beautiful lodge with pool table in it and this massive bar. We'd go in there sometimes and have, um, they would cook us like a pizza. And then, you know, I was too young to drink or anything. But around the outside of this place, the guy had a couple of hummingbird feeders. Whoa, were those hummingbirds aggressive? They get real when there's like a bunch of them, they're beautiful, but my gosh, they are very aggressive. So they um, would obviously gather around these feeders. And you know, when you're little, it's like, whoa, this is scary because they will come zooming by you. And if you get close to that feeder, I mean, they're <clears throat> when I say there's a lot of them, there's like 20 hummingbirds at one time around this feeder. It's crazy. But um, they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that's my story about the hummingbirds. Um, and so back to, you know, this kit. That's why I, I love them so much because it brings back, you know, some really, really happy times of camping out there. I got this piece. I'm thinking just a little snippet off of it for that. Um, so yeah, it was really fun because we would go up there, my dad and brothers liked trout fish, and um, I would just go, they'd take off and go fishing, and I'd just wander around in the woods and gather up, um, you know, wildflowers, which probably is, you know, now you think, well, that's gone, you can't do that stuff anymore because... It's messing up the natural environment. So, um, but that's what I would do during the day: I'd gather up all my flowers, take them up there, and press them, and pretend like I was out. You know, this was my place. This was my house. The tent would be my house, and I'd go in there and clean it. <laughs> How weird! But I used to love to get the little dustpan and broom and just clean and 
Eh, weird. I was a weird person, but... Um, okay, so... Now that I've absolutely bored you guys to death, what can we do here? It needs something, some sort of embellishment. Oh, 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 I know what I was thinking. We are running out of time, so I'm going to have to do this really, really quick. I've just got this little off cut. I thought I'll try to make a couple of little dinky flowers here. And then we're, I think I'm only going to get the one done, guys, because we are so close to running out of time. Way too much glue on that. Dang. Oh, okay, that's not going to... Let me see. Maybe if I put a little bit of a pearl. When that dries, I'll have to fluff it up a little bit, but I think that just might be okay. Because I want I want to complete one of these in, on camera, and then you guys, you know what I'm doing. I tell you what, I got this little phrase. Let me stick that on there, too. Um, and I'll deal with this. Uh, oh my gosh, where, <laughs> where did the flower go? See? Oh, my fingers are so sticky. There it is. I must have drugged that off. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, there we go, guys. Wow, that was painful. I'm so sorry. It just didn't go as planned, but I think in the end it's it's come out pretty. we we'll let that glue the glue dry, and then you won't be able to see that. But there's the two completed and then I've got I think I got 16 cut out that I'm going to carry on doing so that's day 10 guys we did it thanks for joining me and you guys have a great rest of the day bye